Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 Morning News at 9. You're going to actually really be happy that you're spending this part of the show with us because look who's back. Debbie Kortberg, owner of Spice and Leaf, is here to talk about, oh, isn't that just so beautiful, cauliflower? So beautiful. Good morning. Happy Good Friday. Morning. Thank you. Okay, so cauliflower, for many years, I think I had a bad rap, and then all of a sudden it just came back as this, yeah. like, healthy food. Now you find it as pizza doughs, you find it, like, as right. pastas, everything. Yeah, so cauliflower is, like, the newfound jewel of being able to eat a gluten-free diet, a keto diet. It is rich in vitamin C, B6, vitamin K, high in antioxidants, and it's really malleable. You can make it into rice. Mm -hmm. You can grind it up, the florets, before it is um, cooked, and then you can do pizza dough with it, and it's a clean slate. It's white, yeah. so you can make it turn any color you, any want, color to. you want And you could do mashed potatoes with it. A hundred oh, of mac and gosh. cheese. Yes. Yeah. So uh, much you could do. Yeah. Okay, so you today are going to show us something that we can do with just like a whole cauliflower. Like you just got a whole one, and we're going to do something to it. Yes. What are you doing? Uh, uh, we're gonna roast it eventually, okay. <laughs> but there's a couple steps beforehand. Okay. And so um, obviously you're gonna want to wash it first, and then what I like to do is um, just cut off the bottom of this so you have a nice flat surface so it'll lay properly. Sometimes it'll lay perfectly like this, uh -huh. depending on how it grows. Not okay. always. Sometimes it's a little to the side. And we're gonna put this aside for a second, and I have a pot here. It's oh. very yellow, so yes. if you try this at home, for anybody who tries this at home, do not leave the pot while it's cooking. Why? And because when it's boiling, it can overflow oh. and it makes a hot yellow mess. Oh, 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 oh yeah, we don't want that so, in the kitchen. Okay. To all the viewers out there, if you try this at home, watch, watch your pot. Watch pot. Okay. So, you know, usually it's like, don't let your pot, don't watch a pot boil, but you want to. And uh, this is because of turmeric? Yes. Okay. So there's turmeric in here, and also I use the shawarma spice blend. Okay. Oh, this so, so good. Can I smell yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, 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 so good. Okay. So I added the spices. I added five garlic cloves mashed. Okay. And some salt. Like and some salt. salt like you would add to pasta is what you're going to put in the water. Got it. Bring it to a boil. Okay. After it's gently boiling, you're going to take this whole thing and you're going to pop it in there. Oh. And you're going to bring it to a boil for about 10 minutes. Okay. To, and so then you'll put a knife in the base at the bottom, and if it can go through, that's how you know it's done. It's cooked, okay. So, you know, depending on the size of your cauliflower. And after you take it out, you can already see it's starting to turn yellow yeah, you there. Yeah, the colors, exactly. okay. Exactly, and then when you take it out, you put it into a colander, you pour this obviously into your sink. Got it. And it's gonna look like this. So pretty. Right? Wait till we cut it open. Oh, You'll see, oh, oh yeah, I don't wanna okay. do any big reveal. Okay. Uh, spoiler alerts, but then you're gonna let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes to make sure all the water drains out from boiling in the pot. Okay. And after that, we are gonna coat it okay. with olive oil. Got it. Okay. okay. After you've coated it with olive oil, you're going to put it in the oven on roast or hot temperature, 450, 500. Even the last five minutes, you can do a broil. Okay. And that'll give it a really beautiful charred look. And then it's going to look like this. Uh -huh. I feel like Julia Child, thank you for teaching us how to cook this way. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks That's good. So okay. So here you can see how beautifully charred it is. And now you have a beautiful whole roasted cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And this could be eaten just like this. It can. But if you want to take it to the next level. Let's do it. Make a complete meal for vegetarians, vegans, or just have a beautiful dish. We have this. So. Whoa. What did you do? So there's a bed of kale on the base, and then underneath, I'll lift up, there's some quinoa that I cooked with the shawarma spice blend. Okay. And I layered that, and then we roasted the whole cauliflower, put that on top, and of course, it wouldn't be complete without a little tahini. So you just drizzled it? Yes. yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And then, of course, we got to add some spices on top. This one? Yeah. We okay. can drizzle. You want to drizzle this one yeah, here? Let's do that one because we know who's going to eat it after you the show. You know, the whole crew has been up. <laughs> My family here works That's all night it. long and they're going to be hungry. Okay, so you just drizzle? Yep. You can put some of that on top. Okay. We can throw on some pomegranate seeds for a little crunch. Debbie, you're amazing. Well, there you go. Look how easy that was. We made something like two minutes. Here's a towel for your... 
Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we want to cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open. Uh, if you want to get the recipe to this and get any of these so seasonings and spices, uh, you can get in touch with Debbie by going to the link on our website, foxisandiego.com. Click the seat on tab. Chrissy, I don't typically eat cauliflower, but here, hold on a second. Here, here's a little piece okay, right here there. We Chrissy, yes. we'll send it over to you mm -hmm. as I... Debbie has a gift. She is oh, gifted. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> coming she, everybody's way. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, Debbie. The whole newsroom is going to be running at you here in a second. She is a gifted woman.